I got an email about two months ago. Not uh, bad. About two months ago, yeah. about uh, how we you are a holistic cooker lady. And lady, and I call her the holistic lady. <laughs> her name is Anne Marie De Gregoria. Very good. Oh, good job. Man, I got the big name. It. I got it. <laughs> and uh, I said, you know, she emailed me saying that you know she has these very good ideas for firefighters to eat healthier of course because you see me cook with butter and bacon all the time i think she put in the email that i have to cook healthier but um <laughs> but also about how food is fuel so if we're got to explode and go into something fast she has very good recipes and very good tips for firefighters out there for their health so yeah anything for a sore throat i've been screaming all, all day yeah, eat some it. garlic i'll eat some garlic that'll clear it right that'll up clear it right up when we're done with the pesto you're gonna take a spoon for, full of that and you'll be good by morning really <laughs> uh, that's not a more than a, a spoon. <laughs> yeah, healer it's like a witch doctor over here <laughs> all right so let's start cooking what are you gonna do first okay we are making a chicken pesto we're making a brown rice basic with butter, which is okay as long as it's the right one. Okay. All right, we'll get there. And lots of and, it. And lots of it and herbs. And then we're going to make a super shake, super antioxidant shake as well. So those are the three things that we're making today. And I'm going to back up in a second and say, you know, we eat for a few different reasons. We eat for, for joyous occasions, for cultural, you know, family gatherings, for holidays. We eat for those reasons. But in addition, we, and we eat for fuel. But what we're not doing anymore is eating and using food as medicine, which is really why I wrote you, because the firefighters are exposed to so many carcinogens. You know, when, when everyone's running away, you, you guys are running into the building with the chemicals burning, with the pipes on fire. You know, breathing the stuff in, it goes into your lungs, it gets exchanged with your blood, and it sits in your cells. And so there's things you can do to actually help it out of your system and get out of your body. And that's why I wanted to do this with you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's really important, and I think that we need to go back, you know, what did grandma do? What did grandma do? What did happen prior to the, you know, the early 1900s and before? They used food as medicine. So this meal is incredibly healthy, all organic. And organic means that it's not sprayed with pesticides, no GMOs, genetically modified foods, um, and so meaning they're not uh, created in a lab, if you will, sliced and diced there, and changed at a genetic level. And um, and so organic, you know, if you were to take a can of bug spray, we'll keep it generic, and okay. spray it on an apple, you wouldn't eat it. If you did it yourself, that's what eating organic is. So becoming mindful and becoming more of a mindful chef mm -hmm. as much as you can. Now, this is your first time being on TV? Yes. She's very, very good and very natural. I see you just came right and it's like scientists coming out with food and all and everything. They're doing great. Okay, so talk to me. Okay, so talk to you. So the first thing is pesto. And the choice here, and so let's, let's mm -hmm. I'm going to pull this over here. Sure. Right. And so um, what's on this plate is kale, baby kale, spinach, and this is parsley over here. We have obviously the garlic, which everybody recognizes, but these are shiitake mushrooms. So that sounds a little foreign. Um, you know, we're used to the traditional table mushrooms that we have, but shiitakes are incredibly medicinal, as is everything that I chose here, to be honest with you. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make pesto, which is incredibly easy. The hardest thing to do is prep. Um, and so I did a lot of the prep ahead of time, but we have, so we'll put the parsley in. Hands are clean, okay? Put the parsley in. And everything's been washed. Everything's been very much washed and everything's organic. And then so, we will take these. Ray, I don't know if you want to take the, what, take you the to stems, take off, the stems it? off. You Absolutely. Got it. You break them off, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll just rip those shiitake okay. mushrooms right now. I'm going to cross right over you. A little spinach and action. Right this is a body mineral, mineral, mineralizer. Um, and then we have the kale. Kale is great for helping to get carcinogens out of your body. Now, do you cook like this for your husband? Does he eat I do, anything? actually, yeah, he, he does actually. When he's cooking, you're like, you know, he's the, this, is the, this is the mineral part of your body? Is he just like, listen, just make me some spinach? No. All right, I don't know. No, no, what happened was, is that when we met, I was not the holistic lady. I was in the corporate world doing, making money, and okay. <laughs> doing, you know, I was an Italian, making good food and stuff, and no. then I, uh, I, switch gears on him, poor guy. So now he has to eat this stuff when he really wanted mozzarella and eggplant parmesan. Mm -hmm. And now he's eating this and uh and so well, he's probably in good shape. Right? <laughs> he is. He, is. he looks go. good. He looks good. Okay. So that so we have that. Next we have okay, we have some walnuts. Walnuts mm -hmm. really high in vitamin E, great antioxidant. Let me even back up for a second. 
In terms of the antioxidants, it's really important for you guys to understand this. First of all, you have free radicals running around in your body, especially the firefighters, but everybody's exposed to this as well. So you have them ro running, around, running around, and antioxidants, what they do is they go in and they quench the fire. They put the fire out in your body. I figure that would resonate with you, like with you guys, right? Antioxidants so I want you guys to think to put out the fire in your own body. You're busy doing it for, for everybody else. You need to think about yourself there. Mm -hmm. So antioxidants. So that's what they are. Antioxidants are selenium, vitamin, you, this will be familiar to you, vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta carotene as well. Um, so selenium, garlic. garlic. Selenium, shiitake mushrooms, okay? Um, nuts have them as well, okay? Also, kale, I want to bring, kale, both kale and shiitakes are both very good for easing lung congestion and inflammation as well. So you guys are exposed to a lot of, yes, you know, yes. from a lung situation. The average lifespan of a firefighter, I think, after, is like 55. It's like five years or 10 years after they retire. That's you know, just with, wrong. Just with all the, you know, all the stuff that we breathe in. That's wrong. So, yeah. but there's some, there's things you can do about it. And so if you can sort of switch, you know, more mindful, mindful eating and try to make changes. So, you know, uh, meats. The meat that's here today, it's chicken, and the chicken is, you know, pastured, organic, um, clean. The thing was raised clean, and that's what you're eating. It's getting taken into your body. Um, Does it taste different than? No, it's still it's delicious. So if I eat one of these little pieces, already cooked. They're doing what they're supposed to do. They're they're actually eating grub and bugs and. You know, your eggs, if you crack eggs open, they're supposed to be a bright orange. They're not supposed to be a pale yellow. Mm. Um, so that's important to understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody told me that if you, if you uh, I don't know, it's a big thing that's going on now here in Suffolk County. People are buying chickens. Oh, that's, I, w I cannot wait to do that. And they, and they, and they have chickens in their backyard and they're raising their farming own. Farming their own eggs. And then, uh, Back but, to basics. but they don't know that chickens only make eggs for like five years and the chickens live like 10 years. So you're going to have a lot of chickens running around. I said, well, once they stop making eggs, you eat the chicken. Yeah. Good? Well, I guess so, yeah. Yes, if you don't get too attached to it. Yes, right. Bring me Polly. So we're going to do this, and then we have the oil over here. Okay. Would you help me sure. with that? You can pour all of it because it's measured out. Okay. It's measured out. Very nice. Okay. All right. This is the only thing I'm giving you guys. Cheese. Parmesan cheese because it's pesto and you have to do it. Um, again, this is a different pesto because I'm using walnuts. I'm not using... Um, Pine nuts, I'm not using basil, I'm using kale for the reason of the lungs, I'm using the spinach for as a mineralizer. These are made from organic cows. Yeah, well that's the... Is this organic parmesan yes, cheese? Yes, organic valley. Oh gosh, everything. And, and um, they, they make parmesan cheese as well. So we're going to put this in Hold here it. and right. we're going to make like a mess, it. a little bit of a mess. What I like to do is put olives in it because it adds salt to it, it mm -hmm. gives it a, a really good flavor, plus olives are fantastic for you, everybody. I eat olives all day. Okay. In here also, we talked about, you and I talked about cilantro, and I said cilantro as well as parsley. Um, cilantro will help to um, get me uh, metals out of your body. So that's an important thing mm -hmm. to consider. Try to add herbs. And I have a hip replacement, so that would be, there it, is, there is, like, I do get metal in my blood. So that would help get It'll it. It'll bind to, and same with parsley. Parsley will purify your blood. So I'm putting in here wow. the garlic, the olives, and a little bit of cilantro, because cilantro is strong. Okay. You know, there's a time and a place for cilantro. Okay, great. there we go. <laughs> there All go. right. So there we go. You have button. that. You can put that on. You know, um, a little, you, you know, you the other thing, sorry, Ray, I'm going to reach okay. over you again. Um, I have salt here. Ooh, excuse me. I have salt here. I have pink Himalayan salt. Um, it has about 84 minerals in it. It's really fantastic. Different than the iodized salt, which is heavily processed. And this is, well, it's, ground pe it's fresh ground pepper, but it has something in it called pepperine, and it really helps to ignite. Um, absorption in your okay. body. So we're going to put a little of this in. Fresh cracked is way better than not. And uh, we're going to put some of that yeah. in. Oh, I like All that. Right. That's cool. Um, I usually do salt to taste because of the olives. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Salt, and please. then we're going to take this. We're going to put it on. And we are going to make believe we have a cap that's You're somewhere ready? around here. Okay. And Let's see. we're... Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, oh it has to... Is that better? Let's see. Hold on one second. No, nope, it's not. The blade isn't on right. The blade is not on right. Inside. Inside. Inside all that stuff. It won't. All right. I don't know what we're doing, but we'll be right back. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. We got the thing working, that food processor working. <laughs> all right. Yes, I think scoop everything out, put it on the tray, <laughs> adjust the clipper, and this is what it looked like. Unbelievable. Isn't that great? All right, yeah, we should have done B-roll on that. You guys seem to be picking everything up.
Um, all right, and then we put it over the chicken. Yeah. I dressed it up with a little uh, cilantro. On oh, the side. that's right. Cilantro. Nice, that's good, side. good. Yeah. See you learning. Okay. Okay. There's yours. For me, thank you, sir. And here's mine. It's pretty good. All right. Let's see. I need a knife. Mm. I'm working mm. on it. It's a little hot, the kettle. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is, are you laughing at me? Good. What was it, my dance? Which one was it? <laughs> It, it, it is good, mm. I have to say, and it's healthy, and there's a whole point mm. to it. Okay, the other thing, Ray, go ahead, what were you saying? Oh, I was going to start eating the cilantro. I just eat the there you go, just, just shove no, it all in your mouth. I got it. Rice, real quick. Rice is brown rice. Really important to use brown rice. It's not bleached. It has all the vitamin and nutrients in it. You rinse it, you soak it, you cook it. 40 minutes, but oh. here's the thing. 40 minutes, here's a little tip. You put it on the stove. You right around 30 minute 35, you put um, a dish towel underneath the pot and mm -hmm. it actually absorbs the liquid and it makes it nice and fluffy. That's a little trick from uh, one of my very best friends and it really makes it very good. We will so have please, to do that next time you come on. But here's the thing, when you put the, when you put the, because uh, I know everyone's thinking this right now, when you put the dish towel on the stove, you have to make sure that the stove is off. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Fire okay. safety tip for today. Okay, that's Make it. Make sure there's no dish okay. towels on the stove. The last thing here awesome. is a, a shake, and mm -hmm. I just think that's a really good thing for you guys to have around the kitchen at the firehouse. This is a protein shake. It's, it's, uh, it looks so delicious. It, it <laughs> and it has bananas, it's very you have nutty. nut clutter, <laughs> you have coconut, and you have blueberries. Excellent, excellent blueberries, excellent antioxidants. And my wife loves, we don't get organic blueberries, we go to Costco and get the frozen blueberries. Well, that's, this is frozen because it's not the season. It'll be very expensive. It's winter here in New York. Okay. Um, so we get wild organic blueberries frozen. It's cheaper because it's like $12 a container right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little. Um, and this protein powder, I use Vega protein powder. I love it. And um, Vega protein it's, it has a great antioxidants built into that. Nice thing to have in the kitchen here All for right, you guys. All right, Yep. This is going to make me strong. This is my spinach. Yeah. Juice, like, Popeye. All right. It's good. I like that. It's good. I like that. It's good in a healthy way. <laughs> no, no, no. It's good. It's Thanks, good. Ray. It's very, very good. <laughs> no, it is very good. I'm gonna take it ready. I'm gonna take another drink just to show it. But... Mm. No, it is good. No, really, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> well. Miss Ann, my holistic, my holistic lady. Okay. Any website that you want to shout out that maybe that people can go on and yeah. read up more? Food is thy medicine, uh, or Balance for Life Nutrition. Make it short. B for Balance. Number four, L for Life, and for Nutrition .com. And you can catch me there. Oh, very cool. And to find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to FirehouseKitchenShow.com. Uh, we'll have this recipe up there. Okay. Oh, yeah, you know what? We will definitely. put this in the Firehouse it's, Kitchen cookbook. I website. love it. It's on my on my website, and we'll put it on your website. Unbelievable. Like it. Find out more about Firehouse Kitchen. Go to FirehouseKitchenShow.com. Go uh, to Facebook, and uh, we will see you guys next time on Firehouse Kitchen. Yeah, you know. I'm a dork. Do it. Please don't put that on. Firehouse Kitchen. Oh, that's going on. <laughs> One more time. Ready to go. Firehouse Kitchen. Unbelievable. Come on. All right. I thought it was great. I did a great job. All right. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>